knock at your door and I'm serving like pizza I got the ice, Italian pizza Bitch, I'm a family man like a pig These niggas be short stops, they're a Jeep to knock a nigga out like I'm Vegeta Yo, what's good? Yo, YouTube is your boy Rod. I'm back with another YouTube video. If you are today, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen. Look, 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 look. I'm back with another reaction video for y'all, man. This one is titled What If You Fell Into Neptune? Now, from my understanding, which might not be a very good understanding, <laughs> Neptune is a planet full of water, right? Well, it's blue. And they say it's just all water, right? You, it's, is it? All water, like Camino off of uh, off of um, Star Wars, right? Of course, without the people there, without the facility, just water, an ocean planet with storms and thunderstorms. That's what I would imagine. Hey, look, we're going to see what it is, man. Let me know what you think. Uh, all the planets in our solar systems are like other than Earth, like Saturn. What do you think it's like? You know what I'm saying? All the other planets. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? What do you? What's your opinion? You know what I'm saying? But hey, look. Before I get to this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for post notifications. You get notified when I post them. You know what I'm saying? Follow my IG, Snapchat, and the intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. Is there a long list of original video? You know what I'm saying? So go show what if some love. But they look, man, they look, man, they look, man, they look. I need more, I need more, I need more. You already know I'm rocking, man. I'm on a road to 10K. I was about to say 1K, but I already got 1K. Hey, help me get to 10K. I need it right there. You know what I'm saying? And also, show my Twitch some love and get Duffy in the game. And they call me John Sticks. I'm the John Wicked Gaming. So yeah. Tap in. Now, without further ado, let's hop to this video. Shall we? Put it in the basket. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, I was just playing with my Webby. Before we dive your into what? today's episode, we wanted to let you know that with your we webby? now have YouTube your, your, your memberships. Your webby? Support our show. This is wild. This is really wild. And receive awesome perks. Click on the join button below and choose your tier. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. It's big, it's blue, and it will tear you apart. Really, really? Well, if you happen to drop into one of its giant Earth-sized storms, as calm and breathtaking as it may appear on the surface, Neptune is a dangerous and violent place. So, who's up for a field trip? I am. Why do Neptune's rings clump in certain areas? What treasures are hiding beneath its atmosphere? And where could you survive the longest? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you fell into Neptune. In 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft whizzed past Neptune. Five years later, we captured incredible images of this planet, 4.3 billion kilometers away from Earth, with the Hubble Space Telescope. Although it might look like a fun place to bring your yacht, Neptune's oceans aren't quite the same as the ones here on Earth. About 80% of the planet is made up of an icy substance consisting of water, methane, and ammonia. But well, it's not good. Not good at all. So, where exactly should we take the plunge? How about that big dark spot over there? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That dark spot used to be a lot bigger. Big enough to contain the entire Earth, in fact. What? Is Earth is that small? The great dark spot was one of Neptune's most violent storms. Even though it has dissipated, there are still several smaller storms to contend with. Before we dive in, let's examine what is just outside of Neptune. Like Saturn, Neptune has an intricate ring system, but not nearly as many rings. There are at least five main rings, including strange clumps of dust called arcs. Astronomers hypothesize that it's likely Neptune's moon Galatea and its gravitational disruption causing this bizarre clumping effect. Alongside Galatea, Neptune has 13 other moons. 13? To oh, Triton is one. You'll find its most popular moon, Triton, known for its spectacular ice volcanoes. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Based on Neptune's tumultuous weather, it's probably best that you descend at the northern hemisphere, where the winds are tamer. 
as a gas planet, different parts of Neptune rotate at varying speeds, and depending on your location, your length of day will vary. At the North Pole, a day lasts 12 hours, cool, that way, which what? is a whole six hours shorter than a day on the equator. How is it possible? You gotta work smarter, not harder, as they say. Unlike Earth, Neptune's atmosphere does not contain any oxygen, so make sure to bring an ample supply to breathe. What? Out. That's pretty cool. Wow. With very little sunlight, the brightest Neptune gets is about the equivalent of a dim twilight here on Earth. So also be sure to pack a light source or some night vision goggles. Be prepared to brace yourself for wind speeds up to 550 meters per second. But what? That's about five oh times God. stronger than the harshest gusts here on Earth. And twice as fast as the speed of sound. You're flying. As you pass through Neptune's exosphere, its outermost atmosphere, your spacesuit will experience freezing cold temperatures as you drift through the methane clouds. And it might reek a little. Hey, that was not me. Like in some places here on Earth, the weather can be a bit unpredictable. As you reach the thermosphere, suddenly the temperature rises to about 477 what? degrees. How? And you'll encounter ammonia and hydrogen sulfide clouds. Astronomers agree that this bump in temperature could be a result of the atmosphere's interaction with ions in the planet's magnetic field. Okay, once you've made it through the blistering heat of the thermosphere, you'll notice an increase in pressure in the stratosphere. And the closer you get to the planet's core, you'll notice things are starting to heat up fast. As you make your way through all of Neptune's 3,000 kilometer thick hydrogen and helium atmosphere, don't worry about smashing into the ground. Neptune doesn't have one. Per se. No way. Ain't no way. It's more of a slushy ice and water layer. Okay. About 17,500 kilometers deep. If you were hoping for a spectacular view, well, sorry, the atmosphere here is too dense to see anything. As you finally pass through all the slush, you'll encounter a super hot ocean and possibly some hidden treasures. One of the consequences of the high pressure and temperature on Neptune is that its carbon and hydrogen atoms could separate, forcing isolated carbon atoms to be squeezed into diamond structures. These would likely sink to the planet's core, but could be as large as one meter in size. Diamonds. Ooh, Neptune had so much blink. Here in the core, the temperature is piping hot. About 7,000 degrees, which is comparable to the surface of the sun. Realistically, a mere human probably couldn't survive this journey. Ain't no probably. But maybe you a definitely die. Space probe could. You definitely die. Now that we've got our sea legs, maybe we could explore Jupiter next. Think you could handle it? I mean, well, of course not. That's a story for another. What if? That was a de that was definitely interesting. You know what I'm saying that was definitely interesting. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. You're dying without a doubt. There's no there's no brain. That's a no brain. That's obvious. You're dying without a doubt, unless we have the technology enough to make a strong enough space craft. Because nobody wants to fall down there in a suit. You're going to get stuck down there eventually. Lose oxygen in that suit. So unless you make a durable spacecraft that has enough ample oxygen and all this, all the stuff we need in there. You're dying for sure if you go if you if you go into that planet. But look, this is this is very interesting, man. Got to educate yourself. Got to educate yourself. But look, man. With all that being said, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Ding! Hit that bell for post notifications. You know if I want to post them, you know what I'm saying. Follow my IG, Snapchat, and intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. Is there along with this original video? You know what I'm saying. So go show. What if some love? But look, man. Look, man. Look. I need more, I need more, I need more. You already know how I'm rocking my own road to tank. I'm. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
show my Twitch some love as well, man. I'm getting, I'm Duffy on the sticks, man. I'm Duffy on the sticks. I'm getting Duffy. They call me John Sticks, the John Wick of gaming. You know what I'm saying? John Wick in gaming. Do you ever seen John Wick in Call of Duty? You haven't, cause you haven't seen me. So tap into my Twitch so you can see it. So yeah, with all, all that being said, I am. <laughs>